Welcome to Electra Online and now for something very classic when it comes to rotating objects and rolling objects. It's the classic or the simple yo-yo. So let's say we have a yo-yo here attached to a string and the yo-yo um, rolls down from the string and what we're trying to find is the acceleration of the yo-yo towards the earth. So let's assume that the mass is 100 grams and the radius of the yo-yo is 5 centimeters. It's a big yo-yo but it'll work. And so how do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing you want to do is draw the forces acting on the yo-yo. So for one, we have, of course, the weight pulling down towards the earth, so mg. And then we have the tension on the string pulling upward. So let's draw it like this, tension upward. And those are the two forces that are acting on the yo-yo. Now, what will be the resulting acceleration? To find out to figure that out, we have to use the two equations, starting out with F equals ma, Newton's second law. And also, since the yo-yo will be rotating, we will also need the rotational equivalent of Newton's second law, torque equals I times alpha. Now, you can see that instead of F, we use torque. Instead of mass, we use the moment of inertia. And instead of the acceleration, we use the angular acceleration. And the relationship between the acceleration and the angular acceleration is this, A equals R times alpha. So therefore, alpha can be written as the ratio of the tangential or linear acceleration divided by the radius of the yo-yo. So what we're going to do on this side is we're going to solve for the equation here first. Now remember that the torque is equal to the force causing the torque, which is in this case the tension, times the perpendicular distance from the point of rotation to the line of action of the force. And that, of course, would be the radius of the yo-yo, r. And so therefore, the torque would be the tension times the radius. The moment of inertia, since it's a solid disk, is one-half mR squared. And instead of the angular acceleration, we're going to relate that to the linear acceleration as a over r. The reason why we want to do that is eventually we want to set the two equations equal to each other. And of course, we want to have make sure that this A here is the same as this A over there. Okay, you can see here that this R will cancel out one of those, and this R will cancel out the other one. So the R's disappear, and we have the tension in the string is equal to one half mass times the acceleration. Okay, now we go to the second equation, F equals MA, or more precisely, F net the net force on the yo-yo equals ma. And of course, the net force will be equal to mg, the force that will accelerate it downward, minus the tension, the force upward. Now, you'll wonder, say, why do I call mg positive and tension negative? Well, I can just assume that the acceleration is going to be this way, and all the forces aiding the acceleration are going to be positive, and all the forces opposing the acceleration are going to be negative. So in this case, we end up with mg minus the tension equals ma. And now we're going to combine the two equations. Since the tension is expressed as one half ma, we can plug that in there for the equation. So we can write mg minus the tension, which is equal to one half ma, equals ma. Moving the one half ma to the other side, we get mg equals ma plus a half ma, which together would be three halves ma. So mg equals three over two ma. Then also notice that there's a mass on both sides. Of course, we could have already canceled it out earlier, but there we go. And now when we solve that for A, we multiply both sides by 2 thirds. Turn the equation around, we get A is equal to 2 thirds G, and that will be the acceleration of the yo-yo. So it's actually quite simple, but again, the methodology is exactly the same as the previous examples. We use a Newton's second law, and the equation for the torque equals I alpha. Solve those simultaneously, and we come out with the result. The answer is A is two-thirds the acceleration due to gravity.